coffee. Bulletproof coffee. I'm good. Hey, hey, Sean Terry here. Flip to freedom.com. I am pumped to be with you guys. How's it going? We've got some killer stuff we're going to talk about today. I'm going to give you a killer download too that uh, is, is really going to help you make logical offers a lot easier. So, so I hope you guys are doing great. Um, uh, do me a favor. If you guys are, uh, do me a favor, you guys are on right now. Um, type in below where you guys are from. So where you are from, and I'm going to ask you another question after that. So where are you guys from? Where are you guys chiming in from? I'd like to know. Um, we've got, uh, we got some cool stuff we're going to cover today and uh, can't wait to, uh, to let you know. Data point. Yep. Data point. Love that. California, Nashville. Winston-Salem, North Carolina. We got Austin, Texas. Cool, cool. San Diego, beautiful San Diego. Gotta love it. Cool, cool. El Paso. What's up, what's up? How's it going? El Paso, Texas. Orlando, Florida. We've got Jersey in the house. San Francisco. What's up, Haim? How's it going? St. Louis, San Antonio, Texas, Bay Area, California. We got another Jersey in the house. What's up, Jersey? What's up, Victoria? How's it going? Long time no talk to. Central, uh, South Florida, DMV. What's DMV? Department of Motor Vehicles. <laughs> hello, hello. What's up, Gordon Thornton? So where were you guys from? So we got Denver, Colorado. Let me know where you're from. Um, we got Brian. What's up, Brian? Denver's a super hot market. I'm sure you guys are cranking out there, rocking and rolling. Uh, South Haven, Central Pennsylvania, New Hampshire Real Estate Investor Association. Cool, I like New Hampshire. I'm uh, originally born and raised in Vermont, of all places, the land of milk and honey. No, it's milk and uh, maple syrup. Um, North Jersey, cool, cool. All right, so let me know. Let me know. So here's the other question right here. Let me know. How many deals you have done since January? How many deals you've done since January? So you can put in the number, three, five, seven, 10. How many deals have you done since January? Let me know, oops. Uh-oh. So you can put in the number, three, five, see. seven, 10. How, How many, many? Okay, sorry about that. I, uh, oh, I, darn, I like it the other view better. Let me see if we go. So you can hear the sound. Okay, so how many deals you've done since January? So we got zero, zero, um, zero. Just saying the idea. We've got zero. Come on, you guys are gonna make some money here. We got zero since January. We gotta get you going. Bobby, 11 deals. Anthony Roach, so how many deals have you done, Anthony, since January? Let me know if you guys are just getting on how many deals you've done since January. We got 11 is the so far. First one closing tomorrow. Congratulations, Josh. That is awesome. I bet you're not gonna be able to sleep tonight. South Jersey, we got zero. We got Houston, four. We got Gore, we got three on here. Um, Anthony, zero. Anthony, none since January? Come on, Anthony, dude. None since January. We got Robbie, six. Walter Davis. You can hear on the computer, not the phone. Zero, Eric, Arthur, and I'm, okay, so there's a lot of guys, no deals. One guy's done 11. That's, that's, that's pretty, uh, pretty interesting. So we've got to get you to do some deals. So the question was, how many deals have you done since January? So, um, so we've got 15, James Hawk, of course, yeah, 59, James. So we've got, he's in Billionaire Boardroom, James Hawk out in, uh, out in um, uh, Jacksonville, Florida, crushing it. So uh, he's, he's, uh, <laughs> he knows the game pretty well. Um, we've got zero David. So we got, we got basically 11, 15, 59. Um, and then we got James, who's getting rich over there in Jacksonville, Florida at 59. Pretty good, James. You're rocking the house. Actually, I could probably have you on here and help me teach this. <laughs> Because uh, you know it. We've talked about it. Actually, we play golf out here in blazing hot California, I mean, Arizona. Um, okay, so sending some letters and bandit signs, no calls yet. Okay, so 
first off, we got to go for the, the idea is to go from zero, right, to to 10 deals a month, zero to 10 deals. So you got to go from zero to 10 and scale it up. That's what we're going to talk about in this, how to go from zero to 10 deals a month, generating a minimum of $50,000 a month in revenue. Okay. So zero to 10 deals a month, generating 50,000. Yeah, I know you are here, uh, there, $50,000 in revenue. Thanks. Thanks bro. We got flip fuel on the line, James Hawk. Um, so z that's the goal, zero to 10 deals a month, $50,000 a month in revenue. So there are, out of all you guys, there is the majority of people have not done a deal yet. So either um, you know, you're brand new, you haven't gone through the process yet, don't really understand the process, so we've gotta, we've gotta address that and be able to get you a deal. Now, I'm gonna tell you, interesting story, um, here, uh, it's pretty amazing. I'm excited to learn, I'm not working, speak, okay. So, interesting story. Um, Nancy is from Portland, Oregon. Hasn't got a deal, never got a deal before. Ne brand new to the business, didn't really understand wholesaling. So, she basically came to our office and um, we did a two-day event called the 100K Wholesaler Event. She came down to our office and spent two days here in the office and we really dove into the business, dove into marketing, dove into um, every, pretty much every aspect. She got to meet my team, got to meet everything. And amazing story, right? She came down. No, no, real no, uh, no experience in real I mean, at, at all, right? So. She goes back, I talked to her yesterday, talked to her yesterday, and actually on Monday, my fault, talked to her Monday, she just got her first deal under contract with a $35,000 profit, right, 35,000. Super nice, it's a great house, perfect, great area, ton to pe tons of pendings, we, we pegged the price down, $35,000 profit, didn't know anything about the business, she came to my office for two days, understood the big picture, understood what it took, went back, basically followed step by step, and then turn around $35,000 uh, deal that she's uh, selling this week to turn around and crush it. So it's amazing what happened. So here's the deal. Let me talk about a couple of different things. First off, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna get pretty in depth on two things, right? Cause there's, uh, we got guys from South Jersey on here. Um, we've got the majority of people have done uh, literally little to no deals, no deals at all. We got 11, to, uh, to you know, 59 with James on there. Um, we got Roland on there, what's up Roland? So Roland, how many deals have you done uh, since January? How's it going? Ura, another devil dog for Antonio. Uh, marine, that's a marine term. Um, it's not a, uh, a religious term, <laughs> it's a marine term, devil dog. Uh, South Texas on there. So anyway, so the bottom line is, we're gonna talk about today, and I'm gonna go up on the whiteboard, kind of show you this, but we're gonna talk about how to go from zero, brand new, getting started, what is you wanna do, and it all involves around marketing, and it all revolves around conversion. So I'm gonna give you a tool today for free that you can download in a PDF format that you can use that will increase your conversions. Now, we just hired a, a brand new sales guy back in March that's crushing it right now. Um, and he's using this tool to secure deals left and right, okay? Just brought another sales guy on this week and he's using this, this particular tool that I'm gonna give you this week. So, I'm gonna say some really cool stuff on here, so if you could do me a favor, if you can press the like button down there, there's that little like button and press the heart button, that little heart and like button, if you can press that, I greatly appreciate it. See if that works. Um, let me know, so if I say something great on there and you go, holy cow, because I'm gonna say stuff and it's gonna be literally a mind shift and it's, you're gonna go, oh, I understand, I get it now, now I need to know what to do. And I'm gonna pretty much lay out the plan from start to finish, basically what you need to do to get your first deal, get it consistent, and then make $50,000 a month consistently every month. So, the bottom line is, try that, hit that uh, heart button, hit the like button down there, Give me some love, let me know it works. Let's try it out, see if it works. Get that, hit those buttons down there, I greatly appreciate it, that's number one. Number two, if you could share this with um, your friends, your rel, whatever, just press the share button and share this, I greatly appreciate it. Get some more people on the call, it'd be great. Um, so if you could share this and, uh, and we're gonna get going. Two things are gonna happen on this call. Number one, I'm gonna show you how to go from zero, I'm gonna show you how to get your first deal. 
right? How, what the process is. I'm, I'm going to tell you that, you know, a story about Nancy in Portland. Uh, got her first deal after coming to my office for two days, secured a $35,000 deal in one of the hottest markets across the entire country in Portland, Oregon, right? Crushing it up there in Portland, a $35,000 deal, literally what? What's been what, Chris? Two weeks, three weeks since? Three weeks after coming to the office, never getting a deal, boom, she took the information, applied it, got a $35,000 deal. Now, a part of it, and we talked about in our office, leads and conversions, right? Leads and conversions. We went in depth on leads and conversions. So that's what we're going to talk about. The leads and conversion, you understand those two aspects, leads and conversions, then you can make this happen. So a couple things, I'm going to give you a free document, um, but let's get into it. So hit that like button, hit the heart button, and uh, let's get on the road here. I got my bulletproof coffee. If you ever have bulletproof coffee, it's really good. Love it. All right, you guys ready to get started? First off, right? Zero, if you have not done a deal yet, which is the majority of the people on this call right now, that has zero, it's never done a deal yet. What is the first thing you absolutely must do first getting started you've got to do? Right, you've got to number one, and it takes two things. So you ready, Chris? All right. So it takes two things, right? So if you're at zero, zero, zero to 10 deals, right? Zero to 10 deals, 50K a month in revenue, right? Let's put 50K plus, right? Basically, we need to have number one is leads. And number two, we talked about, is conversion. Okay? Leads and conversion. Where's that uh, eraser over here? Okay. So we got leads and conversions. So first off, we cannot convert a deal. You cannot get a deal, right, unless you have leads. Right? You've got to have leads coming in, into your business, people to make offers to. The secret of this game is the more offers you can make, the more revenue you can generate. Right? So the, when, when we sit down for our Monday morning meetings, we look at how many appointments did you go on, how many offers did you make, and those amount of offers convert, basically the conversion turns into contracts which turn into revenue. So the first thing, you're brand new, you're at zero, right? What's the absolute first thing we got to do, right? We've got to get leads. So let's look over here. Let's look at the top lead sources, right? And let's, and, um, and to, we're, we're, we're going to talk about zero, and then we're going to add lead sources to scale to 10 deals a month. So I'm going to talk about first the number one lead source. Now, how did Nancy... And Nancy fought me on this, I can tell you that right now. So she, she fought us and we talked about this um, and when she came down for the two days, we talked about the number one lead source and it, it continues to be the number one lead source. If you talk to the guys in Billionaire Boardroom, um, this part of our, uh, our large mastermind group, it is the uh, number one way to get deals, consistently to get deals, um, and that is direct mail. So number, the, the first lead source to get lead is direct mail. Now, that's, um, I'll, I'll, I'll do it, I'll write it here so you guys understand. Direct mail. Right? Now, people go, oh, direct mail, it's not a push button thing and this, that, and the other. And what about RVM lead machine? What about this? What about that? What about, listen, this right here is you can get hyper targeted, right? And you can target a, uh, a distressed list which we're gonna talk about. So here's exactly what I told Nancy and how she got her $35,000 deal. Now, direct mail. So you gotta look at direct mail as if you're, you're fishing. Now, I went to Hawaii um, a couple years back and we went deep sea fishing. And on the back of the boat, we had lines that were coming off the back of the boat, three and four lines this way. We had lines off the back of the boat this way. We had four and five lines off the back of the boat on the side. We had lines coming all off that boat, right? And we were basically trolling through in Maui looking for, to, get, to catch fish. So the secret is, right, when you're sending direct mail, 
right? You want to have bait and your bait is your, is essentially your, your bait that you have is what your mail piece that you're going to send and your target is your location, right? Is your targeted list. So the more lines you have in the ocean, the chances of you getting a fish, right? And you're getting small fishes come in and then eventually you're going to get a whale. Every one in 20 deals is a whale in this business. You're gonna hit base hit, you're gonna hit base hit, you're gonna hit base hit, you're gonna hit base hit. You're gonna hit a $10,000 deal, $7,000 deal, $12,000 deal, $15,000 deal, bam, and then you're gonna get a $40,000 deal, right? And it's about every 20 deals is a monster deal, and that's just the way it works, right? So, here's the thing. We've got zero to 10 deals a month, right? The, the two aspects to make this happen are leads and conversions. Right now we're talking about leads and the number one source to get started that is consistent, that consistently generates revenue is direct mail. Now, first off, when it comes to direct mail, we have two aspects of direct mail, right? Actually three. We got one is the list, right? Two is the mail piece. mail piece, and three is the tracking, right? Tracking. So in direct mail, we have the list, the mail piece, and the tracking. Now let's talk about the list. When you're talking about the list, you want to target distressed sellers, right? Distressed sellers. So here's the thing. What is a distressed seller? A distressed seller is someone that needs, do they need to sell? They need to sell and they need to sell right now, okay? So if you have someone that wants to sell, that's not a distressed seller. As someone that needs to sell, why? And so what type of list would someone need to sell? Someone would need to sell is a list in pre-foreclosure, right? Now, one of the best lists you can target is a pre-foreclosure list. They are about to lose their house to foreclosure. They're about to lose it. And guess what? If they have their list, that list right there can come from uh, like listsource.com, listsource.com. So if you look right here and you got, you got list source, you can get a pre-foreclosure list. So I'm going to, I'm going to raise this right here. We're going to talk about that in a second. So list right here, you want distressed and you want a pre-foreclosure. Right? You got a pre-foreclosure list, that's a distress list. That's a really good targeted list you can start. These people in pre-foreclosure, they need to sell. They have an impending event. What's the impending event? They're about to lose their house. So every person that calls you, you know that they are about to lose their house, right? The next one, and you can get a pre-foreclosure list from list. S-O-U-R-C-E, listsource.com. Number two, right? If this list isn't big enough for you, like in Phoenix right here, this list, and, and I would mail all pre-foreclosures, right? If this list right here isn't big enough for you, um, then you would move to a, um, a uh, tax default. That's a property tax default list, right? Property tax default. You can get this from um, R E W W, the smart system, right there. So here's your list. First, start with pre foreclosure. If you're brand new and you're at zero, you've never done a deal before, right? Then what we're going to do is you're going to start with direct mail. Now, Nancy, right? This Nancy lady, um, and, 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 and she's an awesome lady, but she has a language barrier. She's Oriental and she has a language barrier and she's very hard to understand, right? And she, I told her, listen, you gotta do direct mail and you gotta do pre-foreclosure. So she mailed pre-foreclosure. She mailed it for three weeks and she turned around, got a $35,000 deal and has never done a deal before ever. It says live video interrupted. I'm watching it right now. Okay, okay, cool. Oh, there it goes. Um, so I just set it on the screen there. So here's the deal. I want to I want to clear up any any uh, interruption any anything. So I want to answer the question: How do I get started? How do I get started? What do I do to get started? A lot of people on the line have done zero deals, and I want you to do a deal. 
I want you to make a commitment right now. I want you to make a commitment that you are going to, going to do a deal between, between now and the end of July, right? You got all of June, you got all of July, and by the end of July 31st, you're gonna get a deal, right? I want you to make a commitment, you're gonna do it no matter what. The first thing you're gonna do, you're going to go to list source, or you're gonna go to, if you have smart system, go to smart, and you're gonna pull a pre-foreclosure list. Pull all of them, right? All the, pull all the pre-foreclosures in your market. Um, they're, they're the default properties in list source. Pull all the pre-foreclosures and mail them. Okay, and I'm gonna talk about a mail piece here in a second. You can mail them, right? And you got tax default, you can get from smart system if the list is too small. That's number one. That right there, right, is the number one thing. So what do you do to get started? You, first thing you do is you pull a list. And you pull this list of pre-foreclosures or tax default. Next thing you do, I wanna see two right here, is your, your tracking. Now, don't get hung up, too hung up on tracking. Tracking is you wanna have a specific number that's gonna go on your mail piece and so you know where the lead. So if you're gonna mail pre-foreclosure, that's one phone number. If you're gonna mail to property tax default and you get that as smart, that's the second phone number. So when the, when the calls come in, you know they're either coming from pre-foreclosure or tax default, and when the deal comes in, you can know if it comes from pre-foreclosure or tax default. So there's two ways to do it. Number one is you can get a Google Voice number for free. You'd have to get two Google Voice numbers, one for each. What we do is in the business, like if you know you got guys have been doing a lot of deals, we use what's called call rail. Call rail. C-A-L-L-R-A-I-L dot com. Callrail.com allows you to create it's like 24 bucks a month. It's like, and you can create phone numbers on there. And what you can do is you're gonna create a tracking phone number for pre-foreclosure and a tracking phone number for your property tax default, okay? And you're gonna have now, now you're gonna know exactly how many calls you got coming in and exactly what's going on, right? So that's your tracking, right? Because as you add more channels and we scale to 10 deals a month, you're gonna wanna have your tracking set up Call rail is the best option to start tracking as you're adding different marketing channels to your business. Because what happens is when you do this, you're to scale up to 10 deals a month, you're gonna, you're gonna essentially add marketing channels and then you're going to scale those marketing channels, okay? So, how do you get started? I wanna answer the question, I wanna clarify it. You're at zero, you haven't got a deal. The majority of the people on this call have not got a deal yet and you're gonna make a commitment by July 30th, July 30th, July 31st is your drop dead date and you got to make a commitment that you're going to get a deal no matter what. The success starts with a commitment. Once you make a commitment that I am going to commit to doing this no matter what, I'm going to, I'm going to overturn and you know, every stone, I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm going to commit to do it no matter what. You make a commitment and you set a date. You have to set a date. The problem is, a lot of people go, I wanna do a deal, I wanna get started, right? I wanna, I, wanna, I wanna crush it, right? So what happens is, but they never commit and they never set a date. You've gotta to commit to it and you gotta set that date. And if you set a date, guess what? It puts, puts an urgency, especially if you're committed to it, to go get the result. Anytime I ever wanna do anything, I always set a date. I wanna do X by X. Right? I wanna do X amount of results by X amount of time, period. And what happens is you set that date and you work toward that date and guess what? No matter what happens, I'm gonna get a deal by July 31st. So I, I want you to go down here, hit the heart button down here if you commit to July 31st. Commit to July 31st with me. You haven't got your deal done. Hit the heart button down here. I want you to commit to July 31st. You're going to get your first deal. Hit the hearts on there, hit the hearts, tell me right here. I wanna see how many people are commit right now to getting a deal by July 31st. So hit those hearts down there, let me know. You are going to get the deal by July 31st. Now, 
for the people. You're going, well, what do I do? How do I get started? What do I do to do it? Number one, right? You got to have leads. You got to have conversions. We're going to talk about both. First thing you got to do is direct mail. You're going to hit a list of pre-foreclosures. Pre-foreclosures you get from list source, property tax default you can get from smart system. Guess what? Number two is you're going to track. You're going to set up call rail. You're going to have a phone number for each, one for, one for your pre-foreclosure, one for your property tax default, so you can track and know the amount of calls that come in. And number three, right, we've got the mail, mail piece. We got the mail piece, right? So what are we going to do in the mail piece? Mail piece, you can keep it simple. Okay, keep it simple. Because all you guys are committed now, July 31st, you're going to crush it. you got to have a mail piece to be able to do it. Now, I want you to go to Go Big Printing. Go Big Printing. Can you, is there a way for you to type this into the comments? That's me. Are you, huh? I'm not, I don't have your stuff. I can do it as me. Yeah, type, type well, can you, can, I wonder if I can make it sticky. Mm -hmm. um, but on there, go gobigprinting.com forward slash flip to freedom. So go big, gobigprinting.com. Let me see if I can find, I'm gonna find this for you guys, I'm really. Go big printing. So I just, I just hit that right there. I'm gonna make this, so I just, I just um, pinned. I just pinned that thing right there. It's uh, gobigprinting.com forward slash flip to freedom, right? So go there. And you can set up an account. I unlocked it right before. So you're going to have access for the next 24 hours where you can set up an account here for free. Right? This is our mail house. And you'll go in there. You're going to see Flip to Freedom. And you can pick a postcard or a letter. And those are the postcard or the letter we send. Right? And that is going to be your mail piece. And you can order right out of Go Big Printing if you want. GoBigPrinting.com forward slash Flip to Freedom. I just put the, uh, the link up there and I pinned it up to the top. But you can go there and you have a list now. You get a pre-foreclosure, property tax default from Smart. You got your tracking with callrail.com and now you get your mail piece and I just gave you a link and I'm opening it up for 24 hours where you can set up a free account and you go click on Flip to Freedom to the left there and what it will do is you'll see a postcard and one of our yellow letters that we use to send out to sellers. Either one works fine. You can start with a postcard or you can do yellow letters, either one, okay? So this is what's gonna happen. Now, the question is, how many, can, how many do you have to send, right? How many do you have to send? As many as possible, okay? So I suggest you send a minimum, right, of a course of 10,000. But you can do that over. So I want you to shoot for the goal of sending 10,000 letters, 10,000 postcards. Now you might go, oh my gosh, I can't do 10,000. Not all at once, right? You can break it up 1,000 a week for 10 weeks. You can do 500 a week for 20 weeks. The bottom line is you wanna set a goal to hit these, these lists, right? And hit 10,000, hit 10,000. The goal is you wanna get 10,000. So what if your list isn't big enough for 10,000, right? Then if it's 5,000, pull the list and then pull another list the next month and hit 5,000. The goal is you got to get 10,000 out. That's the magic number. You get 10,000 mail pieces in front of people. Now, on a 10,000, let's do the numbers on this real quick. Um, so 10,000 times 1% response right, on 10,000, you're going to have 100 responses, right? That's 100 responses. Out of 100 responses, 40% of them, or 40% or is going to tell you to stop mailing, screw off, I never want to see you, you suck, stop sending me mail. So that's going to leave 60 left. 60 left. Out of 60, you should book appointments 
with 70% of those. So you book appointments with 70%, that's gonna leave 42 appointments. Now, 42 appointments, right? Out of 42 appointments, should leave you two contracts or better or better now how many offers are you going to make on 42 appointments how many offers type in how many if you have 42 appointments you go on how many offers do you make on 42 appointments type in the comments what you guys think how many offers do you make on 42 appointments i want to know Give me time to drink my bulletproof coffee here. Um, so how many? 42, 42, 42. Okay, you guys are getting this. You guys are brilliant! Yes. Yes, Mike. Yes, yes, Bobby. Yes, Roger. Yes, sis. Yes. Yep, okay. Good. So, send 10,000, get 100 responses. And you, you can get more. It depends on your city. I mean, you could get 200 responses. You're gonna get 40 people that's gonna tell, stop mailing me, you got 60, you got 70% appointments, 42 appointments, two or more contracts. Now, I'm gonna show you how to get this more through the conversion section when we talk about conversions next. And also, don't forget, I'm gonna give you a killer free tool that you can use to basically increase your conversions on those 42 appointments. So instead of getting two contracts, you could get four to six contracts, right? Now, if you get four to six contracts and your average contract value is say 10,000, that, that's 20 grand right there. You know, if your average contract value is $10,000, that's a $20,000 in profit, right? Now, if you can do instead of two, you can get four, now you got 40,000 in revenue on the same 10,000. If you get good at conversions, and I'm gonna give you a tool right here, and uh, on, on so you can do your conversions. Now, to be able to do that. Okay, so now, recap. If you're at zero, what do you do to get started? To get a contract by July 31st, no matter what, you gotta send 10,000 mailers, right? It's the fastest humanly possible. You could do it in six months, you can do it in two months, three months, you could do it next week, whatever the case may be. You got direct mail, you're gonna get a list right here of pre-foreclosures or property tax default. Pre-foreclosures come from ListSourced, ListSourced.com. Property tax default come from Smart, R-E-W-W, Smart. And you've got tracking with CallRail.com. CallRail is set your phone numbers. And your mail piece, I put a link in here at GoBigPrinting.com forward slash flip to freedom. And you can pick one of our mail pieces, either a postcard or a letter. Your goal is to send 10,000 as fast as humanly possible. Do what you can do based upon your budget. But your goal is to send 10,000, right? And guess what? If your list isn't big enough, then get, get, get as many as you can and then mail them, right? And if it's only 8,000 names that you can get on there, then go get 2,000 more the next month as the list refresh and add it and mail them. So this is the first step to get you out of zero. So next time I do a live and I'm on here, right? And it's after July 31st, I should ask how many people have got deals, right? You got deals and guess what? You're gonna say, all you guys are gonna do one, three, five, seven, you guys all should be on there saying, I've got deals. Now, James Hawk got, on, got in here and he's a part of Billionaire Boardroom, it's our, it's our highest level mastermind, it's an experiential mastermind. We go to Cabo, we're going up to Park City, we went to Napa, we went to San Francisco, we went to Playa del Carmen, all these killer resorts all across the country and we mastermind in these experiential resorts. It's amazing, we're all hanging out in the pool having a blast. The bottom line is if you ask him, right? If you ask James Hawk that did 59 deals since January, what's his number one lead source? Direct mail, postcards. That's his number one lead source. That's where his consistency come from, his deals come from, that's what he comes in from, right? So those are the leads. You have leads and conversions, we talked about leads. So, are we good with this? Give me a bunch of hearts on here if you're good with this step right here. And then we're gonna move on to conversions. And we'll actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about conversions. I'm gonna give you a killer free tool and I'm gonna show you how to scale it to 10 deals.
right? So we got two more things. So if you guys are ready to move on, let me know. Okay, Steve said he missed a part about the property tax default. You can get that from REWW Smart. Yeah, video froze there real quick. I saw that. Um, why wouldn't you do subject to before lease purchase and buy offer? That's a little bit more advanced, right? So hit some hearts. If you guys are ready to move on, you want to get into conversion. So here's the deal. Um, we're talking about deal structure, subject to you know, doing lease options. That's an advanced deal structure. And when I ask people on the, on the line here, how many people, how many deals have you done since January? 99% of the people said they did zero deals. So if you've done zero deals, I would not focus or even start to, uh, start to think about deal structure, um, talk about lease options. You want to get the phone in the ring with the most motivated sellers you can and pre foreclosures and property tax default is the most motivated because they have an impending event. The impending event, either A, they're going to lose their house to foreclosure or A, they're going to lose their house to property tax default because they haven't paid their property taxes, right? So something's about to happen and they can lose their property and, uh, and then you can come in and you can talk to them about purchasing their property. So here's the deal. So why wouldn't you do those structures right now? Not now. If you've done zero deals since January, you don't want to get into it. Now, now you get into this and deal structure and subject to and wrap transaction and lease options. and uh, It just confuses. And what happens? A confused mind says no. A confused mind does not take action. A confused mind stays stagnant. I don't want a confused mind. I want a clear, concise, laser-focused mind. Remember, your goal, and all you guys put a bunch of hearts down there, is that you will get a check, and you committed to getting a check, by July 31st, right? That's your goal. July 31st, you're getting a check, no matter what, whatever it takes, come hell or high water, you're gonna get a check. I want a clear, focused mind. I wanna know, and I wanna answer the question, how do I do it? What do I do to get started? How do I get going, number one? You got to get leads and we're going to talk about conversions next. We got direct mail. We got the list. This is exactly what you do. Don't get caught up in about conversions and what list and how many this and that. Well, what about this? And what about that? Uh, this focus on this. Then we can add more. And I'll, I'm going to get into marketing channels that you add as you scale to 10 deals a month and 50,000 a month. We can talk about marketing channels, but right now I want to eliminate and get you clear on exactly what works. All right, give me a bunch of hearts if you guys are ready to move on to the next step, if you have any other questions. Am I gonna make this a replay? I think it is, yeah, I'll send it out as a replay. You do two plus years delinquent taxes, um, pull, pull all the delinquent taxes you can. Yes, you can get Paul, yes, you can get those from Rebuild Gateway as well. Okay, um, Dominic's saying, can you, go, uh, can you go over the 60 under? Okay, so 10,000, the goal is to send, right, 10,000 mailers, the fastest humanly possible you can send those. At a 1% response rate, right, and some markets are higher, some markets are lower, you're gonna get 100 responses. 40% is gonna say, F you, take me off your list, stop mailing me, don't call me, which is gonna leave 60 viable leads. Out of 60 viable leads, you can book appointments with 70% of them. 70% is gonna give you 42 appointments. And I asked, how many, uh, how many offers do you make on 42 appointments? And you all got the right answer. You said 42. You make all offers on that. And your conversion rate, you should, from a brand new person, get two contracts off 42 offers. Now, we're gonna talk about conversion and we're gonna to try to get that to four contracts, six contracts, or even eight contracts on the same 42 appointments. That's when you get better. That's when you, your education gets better, you get better talking to sellers, you get better making offers, you get better reading personality types, you get better understanding the business, you get better at structuring deals. But right now, that's where, you, that's where education's so important of learning these different conversion tactics and then you can take the same 42 appointments and now you can get six or eight, like if I go on 42 appointments, 
I'm not getting two contracts. If I go on 42 appointments, I'm gonna get 10 to 12, even up to 15 contracts. Why? Because I know how to structure deals on the fly. I know what I'm looking for, I know what sells in the marketplace, and I know what I can do, right? So, because I've been doing it for a long time, right? The bottom line is this, if you're brand new and you've done zero deals since January, which I asked, right there, then guess what? This is about the average for a new person, okay? So, you guys ready? Move on. Okay, good. All right, you guys are doing great. You guys are doing awesome. Okay, good. Let me see. Um, what do you spe uh, speculate the cost on the 10,000 mailers? 10,000 mailers, I would, I would probably anywhere from three to five K, thousand, three to five thousand for that. Two deals, average $10,000, you make 20, three to 5,000 on that, roughly. Roughly, about 50 cents. Um, okay, you guys ready? Now we're gonna move on to conversions and I'm gonna give you a cool free tool, all right? So I'm gonna erase this, don't freak out. I'm gonna erase all this right here and then we're going to talk about conversions. Okay, now, conversions. You've got leads coming in, now you've got 42 appointments. You got your 10,000, you're doing that, you got 42 appointments. Now, we got to talk about how to convert those. Now you got an appointment. Well, let's talk about just one appointment. So, you got one appointment you're gonna go on, right? What do we do to prepare for that appointment? The two biggest things we've got to do, number one, right, and, and I, I'm going to give you this free tool right now, so maybe you guys can work with me on this. Um, the free tool, type in, what was the word? Offer. In the comments below, type the word offer, O-F-F-E-R. I think it's offer, let me check. Is that uh, M-A-N-Y. Yeah, let me, let me check on this. It's, um, uh, automation, no, flows, growth tool. Yeah, type in offer. Let me see. Yes, offer, O-F-F-E-R, offer in the comments below. It is Facebook Live 60. Okay, it should be active now. Okay, it's active, type in offer in the comments below. I'm glad I checked this, because it wasn't active. Yep, okay, so it's active now. Type in um, offer in the comments below. There we go. Okay, so it's working. So you guys, so type in offer in the comments below, and uh, what will happen is it will open up in Messenger, and you have to reply, boom, and once you reply boom, then it will send you a link where you can download. So type in offer in the, in the comments below and what happens will open up. Now I'm gonna use this, this offer sheet um, is important because what this will do is allow you to uh, make an offer on the property. So, where's Chelsea? Can you get on the printer, there's the offer sheet for me? I forgot to bring it in here. So, so type in offer in the comments below And we're gonna talk about what to do on the appointment. So, first thing, now you, did you find it? Huh? All right, hold on, let me, um, let me print it out real quick. Net bit. All right, one sec, I'm sorry guys. File. Print, Canon, all right. All right, should be, should be good to go now. It should be printing. Okay, so, um, so first thing we wanna do an appointment. Number one, we have to analyze the deal, right? And what we're looking for, number one, is what's called the wholesale comps. We wanna find the wholesale comps in the neighborhood. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull all the properties 
right? And you can use Redfin or you can use Zillow or you can use MLS or whatever. Thank you. Um, and this is the offer sheet. All you gotta do is type in offer in the comments below, type in offer and you're gonna get this offer sheet. And this is what our guys use on the appointment and they fill out in front of the seller, right? And it comes out and this is a logical offer that we uh, hand out. It's, re it's really easy, really simple. Just type in offer in the comments below. What will happen is um, your uh, messenger will open up. Just type in boom and then it'll send you this link that you can do it. So, and you can modify this and change it to make it your own. But what do we have to do to make a logical offer, right? To make a logical offer um, is, uh, yeah, t type in offer, not boom. Uh, um, should we only use comps that have cash? No, no, no. Use the, you're looking for the lowest comps. You're looking for what's called wholesale comps. So you're looking for the three lowest comps. Three lowest comparable properties in a, right? And here it is, in a, I'm going to erase this. This is important. One mile radius, right? That's in a one mile radius. Three lowest sold properties. This is sold. Three lowest sold properties. You can find those on Redfin and you can find them on Zillow right? Redfin or Zillow, you can look in a mile radius, you can look at three of the lowest sold com comparable properties that are like property. Like property means you got single story for single story, two story for two story. If it has a pool, then one has a pool. If it has a garage, the other one has a garage. So they're similar type properties, right? Um, in a one mile radius that has sold in the last three months. Okay, so you need three of the three lowest comp and you're going to print those out. You're going to print those out. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take those. Now let me give you an example. In this first part, and if to get this sheet right here, to get this sheet, all you got to do is type in comments in the, I'm not, my <laughs> offer in the comments below. Offer in the comments below. So. This first line says retail value of the offer. So what we're going to do is take the three lowest comps, we're going to add them up and divide by three, and that goes in your retail value. That's not your ARV. Don't, don't mess that up. That's incredible. It's going to blow your whole deal. So if you have the three lowest comp and one is uh, 175 and you have 212 and you have 185 and those are your three lowest comps, Right? You're going to add those up. You're going to add those up. 175 plus 212 plus 185 equals 572 divided by 3. So your $190,000 is your, is the first number that goes in here, right here, is the retail value. 190. So we have $190,000 is our first number. Okay, now we got, we find the three lowest comps. Now what we're going to do is we're going to calculate three numbers. Cost to sale, market risk, and return on investment. These are logical numbers when explained to a seller, say, listen, we're going to have to turn, we're going to have to have a cost to sale on our side. It's typically 10%. Now remember, all these numbers are negotiable. But you got 10%, right, if cost of sale, so I'm going to put cost of sale equals 10% or $19,000, right? And we've got market risk, which is 3%. So let's do the numbers real quick. Times, so that's $5,700. And then we've got 5% for return on investment. So 190 times 5%, 9,500. So return on investment is 9,500. Okay. So now we got $9,500. When you add all those up, 
right? You got totals, 9,500 plus 5,700 plus 19,000 equals 34. 34, 200 zero, zero, minus, minus 34,200 zero, zero, equals $155,000. So now this carries over, 155,800, right? And that number goes right here in offer, right here. We have offer, then we have repairs needed, maximum condition adjusted offer. So now we have our totals is the 34,200. We have 1558 is our offer, and now we have to have an, an our what our 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 um, our uh, what our repair cost, basically repairs. So now with the repairs, I'm going to tell you if the place is trashed, you're going to use two different numbers. Here's the formula for repairs, right? The formula for repairs. Oh, let me place it. Are you able to see over here? So repairs formula, right? You take the property square footage times eight dollars to twenty five dollars. Okay, so this is the property square footage times $8 to 25. So how do you know if it's eight to 25? If the place is trashed, you're upwards to 25. Is the, if the place needs updating, right? It just needs updating, then you're gonna be about 10 to 15. If the place is in fairly good condition, then you can use eight, right? So what you're gonna look at is property square footage times either $8 to $25 is your square foot. So let's say theoretical, our property is 18, is 1850 square feet times, and we're gonna use $15 equals, so we got 1850 square feet times, and I'm gonna use $15, because it needs updating. It's not trashed, but it's dated, right? It has, it has the update, the kitchen has been updated and stuff like that. So $15 equals a $27,750 repair budget. Okay? So where does that go? That goes right here on renovations needed. Right? Renovations needed. Yes, Bill, uh, those numbers could change based upon. Now, if you're in Southern California, well, you might want to increase that 25 to say 35 or 45, but this is a pretty good range right here. So now, let's take our number, 155. Now we're going to take 27,750, right? And we take 155, 800 minus 27. 750, and we have a maxima, maximum condition adjusted offer price of 128 50 dollars right? You guys understand this? So what's this right here? Maximum condition right here, 128 50 That becomes our offer. This is a logical offer to a seller. It makes total sense now, right? Now, I'm, I mean, uh, there's a whole negotiation and going back and forth and stuff like that, but the bottom line is, right, the first thing we've got to do is we've got to figure out, right, the average of the lowest comps, and we now know that we're backing out. Now, these are the wholesale comps. See, the three lowest comps, the three lowest comps in a neighborhood in a one mile radius are considered the wholesale comps in the market. Now, if you take out 10%, 3%, 5%, 27,000, get down to $128,000 offer, it makes total sense, right? It's a logical offer and it's gonna give you plenty spread. 
plenty spread. Now, we have to know going in on the appointment. Now, are you, can, I, can, I, can I erase these numbers? Type it, hit the heart button if, I, if, you, if, you want, if I'm good to erase these numbers because I've got to go in the next step. So hit the heart button right now if you could. Um, and let me know that I can erase this because we, we, we have to get our, our lowest of the low so we can do our calculation. And then we've got to figure out the exit price, right? The second thing we have to do is we've got to figure out the exit price. Right? Number two is our exit price. That is critical. The exit price will make sure that we don't, this offer is low enough. So, okay, we're good. Are you guys hitting the like button? All right, perfect. You guys are good. Makes sense. All good. Break it down. Perfect. What is the ROI percentage? Okay, think about this. That's a great question. Okay, so the ROI percentage, we're investors, right? We're not going to live in the property. We're not going to buy in the property and, and, and live in there. We're not going to move our family in there, um, Elaine. So what we're going to do, though, is we're investors. Every investor, whether you buy a stock, whether you invest in an apartment complex, you're looking for what's called a return on investment. It's a logical thing. Every investor does it and you invest to get a return on your investment, right? Um, so we're raising capital for a, an apartment syndication and the ROI return on investment is 12%, right? So in this particular case, return on investment here, we have pegged for 5%. This makes sense. You're an, an investor. So when you're talking to a seller saying, listen, we, there has to be a return on investment, 5%, right? And it makes sense. So we have to find out our exit price. So you have to know what you can sell the property for so then you can verify that to make sure your offer number is that a number that makes sense. Because if you're going to negotiate with the seller, so you make an offer for $128,000, the seller goes, listen, I can't do $128,550, but I can do $135,000. But you need to know what your exit price is or you're not going to be able to negotiate with the seller and come up on your price if you have to. Right? So, what, how do you determine your exit price? You take the three highest comps, highest comps, three highest comparable properties that have sold in the last three months in the area. The, the highest comps. Now, let's say the highest comps in our theoretical example here. Theoretical comp, we have 230, 235, 247, and 259. And those are our three highest comps. So our three lowest comps is 175, 112, 185, and our three highest comps is 235, 240. And these are all fixed up. They look nice. They're good to go, right? So what we do is add these up, 235, plus 247 plus 259 equals divided by three gives us a 247 247 average or ARV that's our after repair value that's 247 now what we want to do is understand that our exit price our exit price right, is typically going to be in this current market across the country, our exit price is going to be between 70 and 80 percent of that number. And why is that? Now, if you're in Southern California, if you're in Southern Cal, um, what about, what about telling the seller the cost of sale? Cost of sale is even, even understanding we're going to purchase a property, we're going to fix it up, we're going to renovate it, and we're going to sell it. Well, guess what? We have a cost of sale. We have to pay closing costs, we have to pay commissions, we have to pay holding costs. That's the cost of the sale, right? You know? Um, and that's what we have to incur buying it and then reselling the property, holding on. Because we're investors, we're going to buy it, fix it, and resell it, right? That's why we have a renovation cost. But in our cost of sale of reselling it, 
we have to calculate that in to make sure if we don't calculate in a $19,000 cost to sale, then guess what? We're going to get screwed on our numbers. So that's how we build in that number to make sure we're covered. Now, again, let me make this, um, let me make this clear. Um, is that it, this is all negotiable. Once you know your exit number, and now let me, let me, let me I want to clarify something and make it really clear. You've got your, your ARV, in this example is 247. 70 to 80% is going to be your exit number. So 247, and I'm going to just take 70%, is 172. One, right? 172K is our exit number. We have to know our exit number. Once we know our exit number, so why 70 to 80%? Because the market's super hot right now. Inventory's low. As inventory decreases, this number goes up. Your exit number goes up. As inventory increases, this number goes down. For an example, in 2008, we were selling properties to investors for 40 and 50 cents on the dollar. So not 70 and 80 cents, but 40 and 50 cents. In 2005, we were selling properties in the market to investors for 90 to 100% of value because there is no inventory in the market. Right now in the current market, and this is pretty much nationally across the country, you can sell properties between 70 and 80% depending on what market you're in and the demand of that market. But let's just use 70%. 70% of 247, which is our after repair value, 70% of that number, and I'm not including repairs, I'm not, I'm that, that is, that's our total exit number, 172. So if we say 172, we're gonna exit that number, and now if the seller wants to come up to 135, offer a 128 offer, can we do it? Yeah, we've got some spread there to work with. Now, you get the deal for 128, 172 minus 128, that's a, $44,000 profit that you built in through this model that we just talked about. It's a $44,000 profit. $44,000. One seventy two dollars exit price, right? One twenty eight dollars offer price, acceptance price. It makes total sense because you broke it down here and you got a $44,000. Now, what if they say, well, I can't do 128, right? I can't do 128, you know, but I can do 150, right? So you, you come out with 120, but they say you can't do one, but you say 150, and you go, eh, I don't know. Let me look at the house. Let me walk around. Let me look at the roof. Let me make a phone call. Let me see what I can do. And you go, okay, you accept the 150, you still got a $22,000 profit, a $22,000 profit. That's not bad. That's how it's done. This is how you get super smoking deals, right? Because it totally makes sense. You're using comps. You're breaking it down. You're losing the cost. It's in your, in your being able to sell the property, okay? So now, this is conversion. To get this worksheet right here, just type in uh, offer in the comments below. Just type in offer in the comments below. No. No, you don't have to subtract repairs. No, no, no. Your offer exit number is going to be, it's say 70 to 80% is typically across the board, right? I don't, you always can price it high and then come down, right? What if you have to come down to 68%, right? 68% of your ARV at 247, 247 times 68%, that's 167,000, and you're in it for 128, you're even in it for 150, if you negotiate for, and they say, I can't do 128, but I can only do 150, you, you go 167, now you get 167, you still make a $17,000 profit. You're still walking away from a seven, you, I mean, you still got a $17,000 profit, even if they want, if you come down to 68%. So no, you don't take the repairs of that. Yeah, so to get this sheet, just type in offer in the comments below, Offer in the comments below and you'll get that. Yeah. So you guys are getting this. See, if you have this thing right here, this is gold, right? 
and just understand the price. Now, what do you do with this? When you're talking, meeting with a seller and part of the conversions, you're filling, you're filling this out. You sh here's the three comps that we came up. Here's the thing, and it's, it's a worksheet you fill out. Here's our offer. But you just gotta make sure going in, you know your exit price. Because you don't wanna write this thing up, and all of a sudden it comes out to be 160, you know, 176, and you go, oh crap, my exit, I didn't know my exit price, and now I'm screwed, I paid too much for the property. Right? You wanna know your exit price, so when you make sure you do your worksheet, your worksheet comes out with your repair budget and everything comes out to give you significant spread that you can work with them and negotiate from there. Okay? Now, are you guys good with conversions? This will help with your conversions right here. Just type an offer in the comments below and you can get that. Okay, give me some hearts. Give me some hearts in here. If you are good with this, this is, this is how to go from zero. We talked about the list. We talked about how to get your first the things. We talked about your leads. Now we talked about conversions and how to make logical offers. Now we're gonna show you how to take this and go to 10 deals a month, okay? How do you go to do to 10 deals and what the process is. Okay. So if you guys are good, you want, am, I, am I good to erase this and move on? You guys are good, ready to erase this and move on? A lot of hearts. Give me the hearts if you're ready and move on. Hearts, 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 hearts. Likes, 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 likes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, good. So I'm going to erase this and you got the repair formula, right? Square footage times eight to $25 a foot. Square footage of the property, our example, 1850 times $15, 27. That was, our, that was our number. All right, so you guys ready to move on? Okay, good. So I am going to erase our this. All right, whoops, I don't want to erase that. All right, so now we're racing this. Um, all right, you guys are going to check by July 3rd. So we got leads and conversions, leads and conversions. Now, we talked about leads, how to get your first deal. Let's talk about conversions, talked about conversions. If you want this offer sheet, just type in offers in the comments below. Now we're going to talk about zero to 10K a month. Remember, it takes leads and conversions. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna increase the leads. That's it, that's all it takes is to increase the leads. So one, we've got direct mail, right? Two, distressed. And there's five distressed lists. There's A, there's pre-foreclosure. Pre-foreclosure, B, vacant properties, C, inherited, uh, D, probate, A, B, C, D, E, F is uh, tax default, property tax default. Okay, so direct mail, we target distressed, and we target, these are the top distressed, pre-foreclosure, vacant properties, um, inherited properties, probate properties, property tax default. So to get to 10 deals a month to scale, you've got to increase all your marketing to target every one of these distress lists. Okay, every one of these. So we've got to scale, we've got to do this. We've got to send direct mail to all of these lists every single month. So what do we do every month? So every month, we pull a list of all these lists, pre-foreclosure, vacant, inherited, probate, vacant, pull them, right? Pull them and then um, mail them. Pull them and mail them. Pull them and mail them. Pull them and mail them every single month. That's number one. Number two on direct mail, right, is we want to hit, and we call it the perfect property avatar. Perfect property avatar is you take all your deals that you've made over $20,000 on, right? All your deals you made tw over $20,000 on, and you look at the zip code, right? 
you look at the um, year built, right? And you look at age of ownership. Zip code, year built, age of ownership. So now if you got this big pool, you're pulling, uh, you know, of, in, in Maricopa County, there's a million households. I'm not gonna mail all million people. So I take all the deals that I made over 20,000 and I'm gonna pull the, what zip codes of the deals that I made? Well, it was like five zip codes that we made deals over 20,000. The average year built, 1975 and below, right? 20,000, the uh, age of ownership is 10 year plus. So I'm gonna pull in these five zip codes, all the houses 1975 and below, and all the houses have 10 year ownership. And that's gonna give me a very targeted list called the perfect property avatar. Okay, perfect property avatar. Now that becomes my list. When you mail that list, you pull it every six months, every six months, and then refresh the list every month. We refresh the list every six months and you mail it continuously every month. Okay, that's direct mail. That's one. So I'm going to, can I erase this? You guys put some hearts in there if you're good to erase this. You want me to go over this again? You good? I just want to make sure you guys are good. Thanks. Inherited properties. Yeah, I am. Get a copy of the replay. Yep. Okay. So this is, so hit some hearts right here if, you, if I can erase this. So direct mail, this is number one lead source blown out. So this is your lead source blown out. Now, what do you do is, how do you scale to this? You take 50, here, here's the key point. Scaling takes 15% to 25% of revenue goes to marketing. Okay, 15 to 25% of revenue goes to marketing. That's how you scale that allows you to do this, right? So 15 to 25% goes back into marketing, allows you to send more direct mail. As your revenue increases, your marketing budget increases that allows you to do more stuff. Does that make sense? Cool. Yeah, yeah, Th this is said 19, yeah, 1975. Okay. All right. Am I cool to racist right here? Okay. So now we've got direct mail. So we've, we basically, we've got direct mail. So, we're gonna add lead source of D-I-R-E-C direct mail. Number two is Google Ad Words and Bing PPC. This is pay-per-click advertising. Google and Bing allows you to display ads on the Google network and you are able to, someone types in, we buy houses, your ad will show up. People, you type in, sell my house fast, your ad will show up. You type in, sell house without realtor, your thing will pop up. You type in, um, we buy ugly houses, your, your ad will pop up. Your ad can pop up online and people can click on your ad, they can go to your website, they can make a phone call, or they can type in a form and this will generate leads. As your, as your revenue increases, right, your marketing budget increases and allows you to add different channels. That's Google AdWords. Number three is RVM, RVM. RVM is ringless voicemail. Like if you go to RVM lead machine, um, RVM Lead Machine, you can learn more about RVM. So RVM is uh, RVM Lead Machine. So this is ringless voicemail. You can create a customized voicemail 
and drop it into a motivated seller's cell phone for pennies on the dollar. We're getting, we're getting lead costs right here. We're getting lead costs as low as $58 a lead in Phoenix, which is highly competitive. So RVM lead machine, um, you go to, and you can, you can type in the address in RVM lead machine. You can learn more about it. That's number three, right? So RVM lead machine, this has been an integral part integral part right here of uh, our profitability as the RVM Lee machine has done, has been crushing it. And it's been crushing it for people across the country. So direct mail, Google AdWords, RVM Lee machine, right? The um, fourth, right here, the fourth set coming in is code calling. Okay, cold calling. So cold calling we have virtual assistants that are physically dialing out people that own houses, they're 1975 and below 10 year ownership, and they're calling those sellers and they're calling them and asking them um, if they're interested, that we're buying properties in their neighborhood, are they considering selling their homes in the near future? If they say yes, we transfer them over to our in-house lead managers. So we have virtual assistants calling and then transferring out. So um, uh, does RVM uh, pr produce skip tracing? They don't do skip tracing inside there in the RVM, um, but I show you a place where you can get all cell phone numbers that you can use for RVM. So cold calling is effective. We're seeing leads um, between 18 and $72 a lead cost for our cold calling we have right now. And actually we're in the process of ramping up our cold calling. Um, and this is not voice broadcasting or legal cold calling, this is actually cold calling um, where we have physically live people dialing landlines um, to, uh, of sellers. So 18 to $72 is what we're seeing for our lead cost uh, for cold calling. Right? So those are the four um, leads. Now what happens is, now let's talk about scaling. So let's say you have all four. You got direct mail going, you got Google going, you got RVM going, you got cold calling going. Now what happens, we got to go back to conversion, right? What's happening on conversion, right? And I'm almost done. But how does conversion work? All right, I'm going to erase this right here. Let's go back to conversion. So now as your revenue increases, you have 15 to 25%, you add these marketing channels, and now what happens is you're ramping up these marketing channels, right? You're adding money to the budget. So you have 25% of the marketing budget, you're gonna allocate this accordingly, right? You might put 30% um, here, you might put 20% here, 20% here, 20% here, and maybe, Let's call it 35%. Is that right? 20, 40, 60? Let's call it 40%. So 40% in direct mail, 20, 20, 20% back into each one of these. So as your marketing budget increases, you're scaling these, but what happens now is you've got to focus on conversion. So how do you do conversion? Well, now it's you, and now you have a lead manager. You have a uh, sales rep, a guy's going to, you have a disposition, and you have marketing, and you have a CFO, okay? So when you start the business, right, you're doing everything. You're, you're taking the phone calls from a lead manager, you're going on appointments to go, to, you know, to, to make offers to the seller, then you're selling the properties to a, uh, to sell your properties to buyers, you're doing all the marketing campaigns, and you're managing all the books, okay? So when we have conversion right here and you're scaling your different channels, what happens is you're doing everything and there's only so much that you can do as an individual. And that number might be 20 leads a week. So if you have these channels and this, these channels produce 20 leads a week, and you're having to answer the phone, go on the appointment, sell the properties, do the marketing, do the books, and you're doing everything, 
You might be only handled 20 leads a week before stuff starts falling through the crack and you're pulling your hair out. You're going, oh my gosh, ah, it's crazy. I don't know if I can do it, right? So what happens is here is you're going, well, I got to start hiring people so I can, as I scale my marketing, I can handle more leads on a weekly basis to do better on my conversions. So you go, okay, I'm gonna start doing my marketing, but I'm gonna hire a lead manager that's gonna answer the phone. They're gonna answer the phone, now I can handle, right, 25 leads a month. So you're adding more marketing channels, boom, now you get 25 leads. Now you, ha you hire a disposition that's gonna sell all your properties for you. Now you can handle, well holy cow, you can handle 40 leads a week. Right? Actually, you're not even going to handle because you only have a sales rep. You're still going to handle like 25 leads a, you know, a week potentially. You're going to qualify them out. So now, right? So now you hire a sales rep. Now you can bring on, now you can handle 40 leads a week. So you got lead manager, disposition, sales guy. You're doing the marketing. You're managing the books and you're going on appointments too with a sales rep. Right? So you got 40 leads going on here. Boom. You can handle it. What if you got 60, 70, 100, 200 leads a week? You got 200 leads a week, you're gonna have to add another lead manager, you're gonna have to add more sales reps, maybe another disposition, right? Maybe a marketing person. It's all for the purpose of not leaving anything fall through the cracks and you're crushing conversion, okay? Does that make sense? How do you get the phone numbers for sellers and cold calling? Um, uh, actually, I provide you a site inside of RVM that gives you landlines and gives you cell phone numbers. So, we covered a ton of stuff. Give me a bunch of hearts if this was uh, helpful. Um, and uh, if you want this offer sheet right here, you can get this in, uh, just type offer in the comments below. Offer in the comments below and you can get that. Um, and uh, whew, what about door knocking? Door knocking is, you can do door knocking, but it's a, um, it takes a lot of time and energy. And if you're doing all these different things, it's hard to do if you're, if you're, if you're doing that. So, um, so let me tell you about Nancy. So Nancy came down and we covered all this in detail. We went through each one showed the campaigns, how they work, what the strategy, we went through all this stuff and all these, all the different campaigns and showed everybody that. So Nancy came down to her office about three or four weeks ago, right? Went through everything, took the information, applied it, three or four weeks later, she has a $35,000 check in her hand in Portland, Oregon. So, if you wanna learn more about that event, we have another two-day event coming up where you can join us. I'm gonna type in the comments here. But you can come join us. Um, I'm gonna pin embed. How do I, I'm gonna pin this comment. So you can join us at the uh, 100K Wholesaler two day intensive. I just pinned the link up there. But you can join us there. You can come down to Phoenix. Um, we stay at a killer hotel right by Old Town Scottsdale. And we're going to spend two days and we're going to go through each individual system, how it works, what happens with it, what we're going to go through. Um, and it is, if you want to transform your business, if you're from zero to want to scale it to 50, 60, 100 deals a year, we're going to break down 200 deals a year. We're going to break down and show you exactly how to do it. Myself, Justin Colby will be there, Kent Clothier will be there, and we're going to basically, basically take people and, and the whole goal is literally to transform them and, and show you exactly how that, uh, how that works. So, um, but that is the key to getting started. If you wanna learn more details hard on this whiteboard and video and stuff, but if you're in the office, then you can say, you can ask questions to go, well, what about this and what about that? Like, what, what website for the tax default? Um, like I can show you, I can take it to you and I can show you how to pull the list and what the list is and what the criteria is, but you, know, you can get that from uh, REWW. Um, smart system. Um, this is from Reggie White. If you're in a competitive market, is it worth trying Google AdWords say less than $3,000? Yes, definitely try it. Yes, Reggie. Absolutely. So the bottom line is, 
is uh, uh, you can click the link if you want to learn more about it. Love to have you come down here to Phoenix. It's going to be an absolute blast. Uh, we've got lunches all taken care of. Um, we get to kind of go through every aspect and the detail of the business, and you're going to love it. And my whole staff will be there. Justin's staff will be there. So you can hear from what a lead manager does, what a disposition does, how does, um, you know, how does acquisitions work, how do they make logical offers. It's going to be killer. So, um, so it's, uh, it's going to be awesome. So thank you guys for attending. Greatly appreciate it again. So Andrew, what's the best leads to go after in the SoCal market? Right here, direct mail and Google AdWords. It's right there. It doesn't matter what market you win. Will there be another two-day intensive? Um, not sure uh, when exactly we will have that. We got this one on the board in June, so if you can make it, just you know, try to make it there. It'll be life-changing. Um, type in offer in the comments below to get this right here. O offer in the comments below. Uh, to get this sheet right there, and, uh, and that is our logical offer sheet. And I explained, um, watch earlier in this video, um, no problem, explain exactly how that works. So, yeah, th there'll probably be another, there'll be another two-day event. So, um, thank you guys so much for your time. I greatly appreciate it. Have a great rest of your week. Rock the house, crank it out, and uh, I hope to see you soon here in Phoenix. It's going to rock. So, uh, I'm going to sign off. Thank you very much. God bless. And try Bulletproof Coffee. It's good. La, da, 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 da.